Hey there friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel today, as you can probably tell. And probably the reason you clicked on this video, I am doing a Harry Potter Studio Tour haul. So, if you've watched my most recent weekly vlog, then you'll know that me and my friend went to the Harry Potter Studio Tour last week. And I bought some things. I bought, spent quite a bit of money, but didn't buy that many things. But I thought I would do a haul and show you guys what I got, because... I'm in love and I thought you guys might be interested. So I'm just going to pull the things out the bag as like they come and the first things I've got is my ticket and then the Harry Potter, the Making a Harry Potter Passport. Now I didn't know about these and these are like a kid's thing when you go around and they've got like basically how they have stamps in the studio tour that you can um, collect as you go around the tour and it embosses the piece of paper but each page has got the most stunning illustrations like look at that like how stunning is that it's mad um so i got that you don't pay for that that's my focus i'm in focus now it's totally totally free um and i only ended up getting a couple of the stamps because i basically shoved it in my bag and forgot um, but it was very, very, very fun, and well, I said I didn't really do it, so I found it quite cute to just have my bag. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do is put the this or on the other pages in a frame and put it on the wall because it's so pretty. The next thing that I got is this photo, and this is me and my friend Emily on platform nine to quarters throughout the studio tour. Oh my word, it's just started tripping down outside. Throughout the studio tour, they have loads of photographers. They've got a green screen section where you can go on a broom, they've got um, platform nine and three quarters, all sorts, and I got a one of the professional pictures of me and my friend at platform nine and three quarters, which is super, it's super cute, and I'm gonna put it on my wall. Oh, honestly, like, I kind of want to turn the camera around and just show you how horrendously bad it's raining outside. I've got to go out and go to the doctors in, like, half an hour. This is, this is not good. But anyway, the next thing that I got was actually the last thing I got. I got it at the very end of the tour when, after we finished when we were in the shop. Okay, it's a good job I've got my window open. And it's this pin. I, it's a um, Deathly Hallows pin. As you can see, really simple. This was £7.95. Oh, and I didn't say the picture is £14, but then if you get two pictures, the next one's half price, so it's basically £20 for two or £14 for one. And then they do other deals if you have more. But yes, I got the Deathly Hallows pin, which was £7.95. This was the most expensive one they had. They had lots of different ones. They got house ones. They got a Weasley's Wizard Weezers one. They got a Fang one. They got a Weasley's Our King one. Um, I was I collect I'm collect on collect pins on my new denim jacket. So I've got a B one that my friend got me for my birthday. I've got an Olaf one that I got from Walt Disney World, and I have a Palm Aquarium one for when I went to Mallorca so I thought I would get the Deathly Hallows one to commemorate my love and of devotion to Harry Potter. Um, I assumed they would have one of these and literally through the whole thing was like remember to get the Deathly Hallows pin, remember to get the Deathly Hallows pin and I literally was like going around the entire shop looking for this, couldn't find it, it kind of settled on a Weasley's Wizard Weezer's one and then looked up like because my I'm quite short so I looked at my eye line I'd been looking up looked even more up and it was like right at the top so I got one this I say is it, I think I said it's the, it was the most expensive one and um, most of them were like 650 and this one was 795 but I don't mind it's very pretty it's quite a bit bigger than the other ones on my jacket but because it's got the cut out I think it'll look really cute okay and the last thing that I got at the Harry Potter studio tour which is why the bag which is now falling off my desk is so blooming big is this. So I got the Funko Pop Rides Hogwarts Express engine with Harry. Um, I have loads of Funko Pops. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in me doing a um, Funko Pop collection video or anything like that. Um, but I last time went spotted these and didn't pick it up and I got, I've got i got quite a bit of money left for my birthday, just hadn't spent it. Um, so in the shop, in the shop opposite the Hogwarts Express in the studio tour um, rather than the shop at the end I picked this up they have Harry, Ron and Hermione I've got the Harry one you can kind of see him inside there you go you can kind of see him 
Um, and it's a good job I did pick him up halfway through the tour because when I got to the shop at the end they only had one Hermione which so I would have been a bit gutted. I did really like the Hermione and the Ron ones. The um, train, the Hogwarts Express is exactly the same just the characters that are in it are different. I haven't unboxed this yet because I wanted to show you but honestly this this was very expensive but I, I say I bought it my birthday money and I've wanted it for ages and it can now join my Harry Potter collection of Funko Pops. I also have a lot of Disney Funko Pops so I, I say I have, I have I have a very big collection um, but yes this is why the bag was so big this is why I spent so much money this is I only brought like two three things while I was there but I am so happy with this and my pin and my picture and I'm so glad I brought the things that I did I hope you enjoyed this video guys remember to like and subscribe if you did and I shall see you very soon bye